Hi and welcome to episode two of Understanding Darktable. I just quickly want to address something that I said in the first video that was not entirely correct. And that was about the notion that Darktable doesn't offer a single image view in the light table like Adobe Lightroom does. It actually does. My apologies for that, not an auspicious start. Down the bottom of the grid view, you'll see this little slider. And at the moment, it's got the number 16 beside it. And what that is telling me is that there are 16 thumbnails on any given row in this grid of images. And you can drag that slider all the way to the right till you hit 21. I don't know if that is limited by screen resolution or the width of the side panels, whether or not it can go higher, I'm not sure. Uh, but you can also drag it all the way to the left until you get to one. Now, there are four keyboard shortcuts by default in Darktable that are worth knowing. And these apply to the light table view. They are Alt-1, Alt-2, Alt-3, and yeah, you guessed it, Alt-4. And what they do is allow you to quickly change the scale of the thumbnails in this grid view. Alt-2 and Alt-3 will respectively make the thumbnails bigger and smaller thereby decreasing or increasing the number of thumbnails per row. Alt-4 is a bit of a weird one. It's technically classed as zoom minimum, so you would expect that it would zoom out and give you 21 thumbnails per row. Miraculously, it doesn't. Alt-4 goes to 13 thumbnails per row. W why that is considered zoom minimum, I don't know. Maybe there was a decision made that that's a smaller thumbnail as you'd want to work with. I don't know. Uh, so if you want to zoom out to 21, either grab the slider and, you know, drag it all the way to the right, like so, or just keep hitting Alt-3. Alt-1 takes you to a single image view. That's great, but this is an oddity that I have yet to understand. Let's just zoom out a little bit. Let's suppose that I wanted to view this particular image, this first of these two sunrise shots. Maybe I wanted to zoom in on that as a single image view. You would think that if I selected the image, like I've done, you can see the light gray background on that thumbnail. You would think that if I hit Alt-1, that image would be zoomed to a single image view in the light table. But no. For whatever reason, pressing Alt-1 will zoom to a single image view only the image in the top left corner of the grid. I don't understand that at all, but that's the way it works. So as we can see, that's that image there, which is this uh, estuary with these dark trees on the right hand side. If I select this sunrise image and I go Alt-1, I'm looking at that image there. Why? Why does it do that? I do not know. It's very odd. But those four keyboard shortcuts are a quick way to, you know, certainly zoom in and out of the, the light table. If, for example, I wanted to view this particular image as a single image view, your best bet is to use your mouse wheel to move it to the top row. You can also use your arrow keys, but that means clicking down multiple times where your mouse wheel, you can just do it with one click. At least then with this image in the top row, if I press the keyboard shortcut Alt-1, I'm going to zoom in on this image here, and then it'll just be four right arrow clicks to get to the image that I wanted. So Alt-1, right arrow, right arrow, right arrow, right arrow, and I'm at the image that I actually wanted to get to. Why it works this way, I don't know. Not entirely intuitive, but hopefully it'll be addressed in a future version of Darktable. I would like to see it work in a way whereby if I select a given image and then use the keyboard shortcut Alt-1, that I would actually go to a single image view of that particular image, not whatever image is in the top left-hand corner of the grid. Okay, now that we've addressed that, we can move on. In the next video, we'll look at importing images.